Have you ever created a video with Google VO3 and ended up with subtitles appearing out of nowhere, characters changing abruptly mid-scene, or dialogue lines being cut off unexpectedly? If you've experienced any of these frustrating outcomes, you're definitely not alone. Google VO3 is powerful, but minor prompting mistakes can easily lead to confusing and unpredictable video outputs. In this video, I'll clearly explain exactly how to fix these common prompting errors so you consistently generate professional, stable, and clean videos every time you use VO3. You'll learn six precise rules for prompting that instantly improve your results. First, you'll see how to clearly set the correct aspect ratio at the start to prevent framing problems. Then you'll discover exactly how to anchor your characters, voices, and backgrounds so they remain consistent from start to finish without unexpected changes. You'll also learn the correct method to structure your dialogue prompts. Stopping VO3 from accidentally assigning lines to incorrect characters or disrupting the scene's flow. Next, I'll show you how to control dialogue timing carefully, ensuring your speech never gets clipped or rushed due to unexpected pacing. I'll clearly explain why you must use only positive and explicit prompts, never negative or vague language, to prevent VO3 from misinterpreting your requests. Finally, you'll learn the precise wording needed to permanently eliminate unwanted subtitles and captions from your videos. By the end of this tutorial, you'll confidently write Google VO3 prompts that produce consistently clear, polished, and reliable video outputs every single time. Now let's get straight into prompt rule number one. The first and most critical step in using Google VO3 successfully is explicitly defining your video's aspect ratio right at the beginning of your prompt. Your aspect ratio simply refers to the shape and orientation of your video. Whether horizontal, like traditional YouTube content, or vertical for TikTok, Instagram stories, or shorts, many VO3 users mistakenly rely on vague phrasing like make it TikTok style or Instagram reel format, assuming the tool will correctly interpret their intent. However, this ambiguity frequently leads VO3 to guess incorrectly. When you leave aspect ratios unclear, VO3 often mistakenly includes unnecessary visual elements, like subtitles, captions, or stylized overlays typical of social platforms, which you may never have intended. The result, unexpected visual clutter, unwanted subtitles appearing from nowhere, or distorted framing that disrupts your video's professional feel. The solution is straightforward and essential. Always clearly specify your aspect ratio using numeric values directly in your initial prompt. If you want a horizontal widescreen video, clearly state a horizontal 16.9 video. For vertical content meant for mobile viewing, explicitly write a vertical 9.16 video or a portrait 9.16 video. These numeric prompts remove any confusion. Google VO3 to follow your instructions precisely without mistakenly adding unwanted effects or visual elements. Always choose clear numeric phrasing to eliminate guesswork. Doing this consistently will ensure your videos remain clean, stable, and predictable, with framing exactly as intended every time. Clearly defining your aspect ratio from the start is a simple yet essential habit that prevents most initial prompting errors with Google VO3. Mastering this step alone will significantly streamline your workflow and help you produce polished, professional results consistently. Now let's move directly into prompt rule number two. Another critical rule for reliable Google VO3 videos is clearly locking your character descriptions, voice settings, and background details into every single prompt you write. A common mistake made by new users is assuming Google VO3 automatically carries details from one clip into another. Unfortunately, VO3 treats each prompt independently, meaning it does not remember your previous scene details or character appearances between separate prompts. If you write something vague, like the same man as before, or the businessman, VO3 will often misinterpret your instructions, resulting in inconsistent or completely different characters in each video. The simplest way to avoid these frustrating mistakes is to explicitly repeat your full character description each and every time you prompt. For example, instead of saying the businessman, Write a detailed phrase like, a man in his mid-30s with neatly styled short brown hair, clean shaven, wearing a tailored black suit jacket, white shirt, and a dark tie. This clear repetition leaves no room for confusion, ensuring character consistency from one video to the next. The same explicit approach must apply to your background settings. Never vaguely refer to the same room or the office from earlier. Instead, always clearly repeat your background description each time, such as a clean modern office with white walls, large windows, and a tall green plant in the corner. Voice consistency follows the exact same principle. Always define your voice settings clearly in every prompt. Write explicit instructions like, he speaks clearly with a calm British accent, or she speaks confidently in a neutral American voice. Avoid assuming VO3 will remember any previous voice settings. It will not. This simple habit of clear repetition for your character, background, and voice descriptions prevents sudden changes, accidental inconsistencies, and frustrating reworks. Remember, Google VO3 resets each new prompt. To maintain visual and audio consistency, always explicitly redefine every detail clearly and specifically, even if it feels repetitive. Doing this ensures smooth, reliable, and professional video outputs every single time. 
Now let's proceed directly into prompt rule number three. One of the most frequent and frustrating issues that users face with Google VO3 occurs when dialogue lines unintentionally shift between characters mid-scene. This problem typically arises from inserting action descriptions within dialogue prompts incorrectly. For example, if you write something like, he says, we can't do this now, then shakes his head. VO3 often misinterprets that prompt structure and mistakenly assigns the next spoken line to a completely different character, causing scenes to become confusing and chaotic. The reason this happens is straightforward. Google VO3 reads each instruction as sequential and independent. When an action interrupts spoken lines, the tool incorrectly assumes that the speaking character has finished their dialogue, shifting focus immediately to another character or a new action. The solution to this issue is simple yet vital. Always clearly front load any actions or gestures, placing them before the dialogue begins rather than in the middle or at the end. A correct way to phrase the previous example clearly is, he shakes his head dismissively while saying, we can't do this now. By positioning the action first and dialogue second, you explicitly signal VO3 to keep the same character speaking without interruption or confusion. This small adjustment dramatically improves the reliability and clarity of your dialogue scenes, preventing unwanted character shifts or incorrect dialogue assignments. Additionally, avoid writing dialogue prompts that include multiple separate actions within a single spoken line. If a character has several movements or gestures, clearly combine and summarize them into a single initial description placed before the speech. For example, write clearly. She crosses her arms, shakes her head, and speaks firmly, saying, this project ends today. This unified action and dialogue prompt ensures Google VO3 accurately understands and consistently attributes all spoken lines correctly, maintaining your video's scene integrity. To summarize clearly, never break dialogue lines by inserting separate actions midway through a sentence. Always explicitly place actions before dialogue begins, clearly linking gestures directly to speech, ensuring accurate and consistent results. Now let's move clearly and directly into prompt rule number four. A frequent problem that frustrates many Google VO3 users is dialogue being unexpectedly clipped, either starting too quickly or abruptly ending mid-sentence. When your dialogue timing feels rushed or unnatural, viewers immediately notice, making your videos seem unprofessional and poorly edited. This issue happens because Google VO3 doesn't automatically know how much pause or breathing room to leave around your dialogue lines. If you simply write a spoken sentence without clear timing instructions, VO3 will often fill your video scene incorrectly, cutting dialogue short or jumping into speech too soon, ruining the intended flow and pacing. The clear solution is to manually and explicitly define timing cues directly in your prompts. You should always tell VO3 exactly when your character should begin speaking and precisely how much time remains after dialogue concludes. Here's how you clearly do this in practice. Before dialogue begins, explicitly instruct VO3 by adding a timing cue like the character pauses for one second before speaking. Including a brief pause like this ensures your dialogue doesn't feel rushed or abruptly inserted into your video scene. Similarly, after dialogue ends, add a clear timing cue such as, he finishes speaking, leaving one second remaining in the video. This explicitly informs VO3 exactly how much space to leave at the end, preventing sudden or unnatural cutoffs of your final spoken words. Additionally, clearly avoid writing lengthy paragraphs or complex multi-sentence dialogues in a single prompt. Google VO3 clips typically work best with one concise sentence or simple dialogue line per scene. If your dialogue needs more length or complexity, clearly divide it into multiple separate prompts. Splitting longer dialogues into shorter, explicit prompts prevents dialogue from being unexpectedly cut off and ensures stable, predictable timing throughout your video. By clearly defining explicit timing instructions before and after your spoken lines and breaking longer dialogues into multiple smaller prompts, you'll easily maintain precise control over dialogue pacing and flow. This approach guarantees clear, professional, and polished dialogue timing, greatly improving the quality and reliability of your Google VO3 videos. Next, let's move directly into prompt rule number five. One essential rule for creating consistent, stable videos with Google VO3 is to always use positive and explicit prompts, never relying on negative or exclusionary language. This means clearly instructing VO3 about exactly what you want it to include, instead of describing what you don't want. A very common mistake users make is trying to remove unwanted elements by using negative phrases. For example, a user might write something like, a man wearing a red shirt with no blue, while the intent seems clear enough to show only red without blue. Google VO3 interprets every single word in your prompt as a request to include something specific. By mentioning blue, even negatively, you unintentionally prompt VO3 to introduce that color into your scene, resulting in confusing or unwanted outputs. Similarly, writing instructions such as without a hat or no subtitles might seem straightforward, but Google VO3 often mistakenly includes the very elements you're trying to exclude. Why does this happen? VO3 lacks a separate negative prompt function. It simply attempts to visually represent every keyword it detects, even if your intention was negative. The clear and simple solution to this issue 
is to always explicitly describe exactly what you do want, using purely positive phrasing, never negatives. Instead of saying, a red shirt with no blue, explicitly write, a pure red shirt. Instead of saying, no background text, clearly instruct VO3 with, a clean background. If you do not want a hat, simply never mention hats in your prompt at all. Explicitly describe hairstyles or other headwear you do want instead, clearly eliminating the need for negative wording entirely. This positive-only prompting style completely avoids confusing VO3, resulting in consistently clean, stable, and accurate videos. Remember, each prompt word instructs VO3 explicitly. If you mention something, even negatively, VO3 often attempts to include it anyway. So always use precise, clear, positive descriptions of your desired elements, completely avoiding negative instructions or phrasing. This simple but crucial prompting habit ensures reliable results every single time. Now let's get into our final tip that I know you've all been waiting for. How to ensure you don't get those weird and unwanted subtitles each time you generate a video using Google VO3. When generating Google VO3 videos, you might have clearly written instructions like no subtitles or don't include captions, yet still found random subtitles cluttering your output. The reason for this is straightforward but critical to understand. Google VO3 treats every word individually and literally. It doesn't interpret negative phrases the way humans naturally do. When VO3 sees a word like subtitles or captions, even if you place no in front of it, the system often misinterprets your intent and mistakenly adds exactly what you intended to exclude. This happens because VO3 does not have built-in negative prompt functionality. Every keyword in your prompt is considered a direct request, even if you explicitly try negating it. The good news is, there's a reliable and effective way to solve this problem permanently. Always use specialized fused instruction words, known as compound tokens, to clearly and explicitly instruct Google VO3 not to include subtitles or captions. Compound tokens combine instructions into single unified words that VO3 unmistakably understands, eliminating confusion completely. The exact compound tokens you should always use at the end of your prompts are without subtitles, without captions, or without text. These specific unified terms leave no ambiguity. VO3 recognizes these clearly as instructions to remove these elements entirely, ensuring subtitles and captions never appear unintentionally. For example, to explicitly exclude subtitles and captions, your prompt could clearly state something like this at the end. He finishes speaking calmly, leaving one second remaining in the scene, without subtitles, without captions, without text. By consistently using these precise unified tokens, you directly prevent VO3 from misunderstanding your intent, permanently solving the persistent issue of unwanted subtitles and captions. Remember clearly, standard negative wording such as no subtitles or don't add captions frequently fails, creating ongoing frustration. Instead, always explicitly rely on the compound tokens, without subtitles, without captions, and without text, to permanently eliminate this common and frustrating Google VO3 problem from your workflow. Now if you found these Google VO3 prompt tips valuable, and you're ready to take the next step in leveraging AI to earn real money online, then imagine education is the place for you. Imagine education teaches you exactly how to build compelling, marketable AI-generated models step by step, even if you're completely new to AI tools. You'll learn proven strategies to effectively launch your AI models on social media, attract real followers, and consistently generate online income. Everything is clearly broken down, from generating attention-grabbing AI characters, to mastering content strategy, and turning your creative projects into a reliable income stream. Click the link in the description right now to discover how Imagine Education can help you successfully build and monetize AI-generated models today. If you're interested in starting up a new business venture entirely powered by AI, that's already thousands of our students a passive income stream, all from their laptops. That's it. You now have the exact prompting rules you need to fix the most common Google VO3 frustrations, giving you clear, consistent, professional video results every single time. Remember to hit like and subscribe for more valuable AI tips. And don't forget to click the link in the description to check out Imagine Education.